A team of World Health Organization experts in Wuhan have concluded that COVID-19 came from an animal. But they haven't been able to identify which animal, animal was the source. The team has wrapped up a month-long visit to the epicenter of the pandemic. The team also says there's no indication the virus was spreading in Wuhan before the first reported cases in December 2019. Did we change dramatically the picture we had beforehand? I don't think so. Did we improve our understanding? Did we add details to that story? Absolutely. Olivia Song joins us live from Beijing for more. Olivia, what other hypotheses have experts highlighted? Well, the WHO team has just wrapped up what has been a close to three hour long media briefing. The first time we are getting briefed on these investigations into the origins of the COVID-19 virus. And um, they have said it from the start that even uh, with this investigation, there would be no conclusive answers that this is going to be a very long process. And this is what we are seeing. But what we do know is that the scientists have, you know, looked into various hypotheses into the origins of COVID-19. Now, one of the things that they have said is that the most likely pathway that COVID-19 had crossed into humans was through an intermediary host species. Now, what this means is that they're saying that a direct jump from animals to humans, for example, through bats, is quite unlikely, especially as the scientists have pointed out that in Wuhan, that this is an environment that is not close to a bat habitat. So what they are saying is that these, the virus likely would have jumped from into two humans through an intermediary animal host. But what exactly is this host still requires more research. Now, there's also the possibility of the virus being spread through cold chain products. And there's been a lot of attention surrounding the Huanan seafood market in Wuhan, which now is closed, but where we had seen some of the early cases of COVID-19 uh, in December 2019. So, uh, as scientists are saying that, but even though this may be where it seemed that the virus had first emerged, people were infected there. This is not the whole story because the virus was also spreading outside of the market and among people who were not linked to the market as well. How the virus may have been introduced to the Huanan market, that is still not known. There's also a theory that they're looking into whether it may have been brought in by a person, a trader, perhaps a visitor, but they're also looking into the products in the market. For example, one interesting thing they pointed out that they're looking into is frozen farmed wild animals. And so really scrutinizing this supply chain. Have a listen. The market was uh, dealing primarily with uh, frozen uh, product, in particular frozen animal product uh, and mainly seafood. But there were also vendors uh, selling uh, products from uh, domesticated wildlife. There is the potential to continue to follow uh, this lead and further uh, look at the supply chain. So many questions still remain about the origins of COVID-19, but one of the hypotheses hypotheses that uh, scientists have ruled out is the lab hypotheses. And um, previously, you know, we had seen this theory that the COVID-19 virus may have been leaked by a lab in Wuhan. And this theory had been also pushed by the U.S. under the Trump administration without citing evidence. But now the WHO scientists are saying that this is a very unlikely situation and that it will not be concentrating its research into this any longer. Oli, how will the new findings then affect future investigations? Well, moving forward, the scientists have said there is a lot of work to be done. They have identified a few areas that they're planning to work on. They plan to expand their databases. They say they have also identified new potential sources of material that can be analyzed and moved 
uh, to help them move forward. For example, through scrutinizing uh, samples from the blood bank in Wuhan as well as other places. They're also going to be looking into more animal species that could be potential reservoirs of the virus, as well as uh, you know trying to understand more about the role of cold chain uh, in the spread of the COVID-19 virus. But what also stood out was what the Chinese scientists, uh, investigators had to say. One of the things that we have seen them continually emphasize is that this is just the first part of the investigation. He repeatedly said that this is the only the China part of the investigation and that global tracing work is not bound to geographical location. And this comes as we have seen China increasingly push the narrative, even at today's news conference, that the virus may not have emerged from here. Now, this comes also as China has been placed under a lot of scrutiny. It has been accused of a lack of transparency and mishandling the initial outbreak, uh, especially by countries like the US and Australia as well. And now the WHO international scientists are saying that this is something that they will require to do more re research into. All right, many thanks. Olivia Song speaking to us from Beijing. And we'll have more on the investigation in Wuhan later on Asia Tonight.